Hey guys, it's Powell and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am super excited to start this video for you guys because I feel like the month of October has been a long and slow month. Not that I don't like October or anything, I love October because spooky season's my favorite, but I have been really wanting to do a new bullet journal spread, so that is what we're going to be doing today. Today we are going to be doing my November bullet journal spread, and I cannot wait to get started. If you are following along, awesome. If not, enjoy the rest of the video, but let's take it in the overhead view so you guys can watch as I make my November bullet journal spread. Alright, welcome to the overhead setup. I have my page for my November spread bookmarked. I'm just going to open it up, flatten it out, and get all the stuff I need to get started. The products I'm going to be using today are my Crayola Super Tips. I have this deep red color, a sage green, a darkish orangey brown, and also a camel brown and a yellow. Of course, I'm going to be using a pencil and eraser for all of the sketching and erasing I'm going to be doing, which will be a lot. Then I have my hard tip Tombow calligraphy brush pen and then my Tombow mono drawing pens. They are fine liners in the size 0, 1, 0, 3, and 0, 5. All right, I'm gonna start sketching out what my cover page is gonna be. The theme for this month is mushrooms and leaves. I thought of it literally just yesterday and I'm just gonna roll with it and hopefully it turns out good. I know that's kind of scary for some people who like to plan things out a little more, but I thought that this could be a really cool theme so I just kind of rolled with it and I'm gonna see how it goes. All right, so I kind of skipped over the sketching part and I just went straight to the inking. I didn't want this video to be too long for you guys, so I did skip over a lot of the sketching for this spread. But I'm just inking out the leaves right now. And now I'm just putting in November. And now I am going to color in after I erase some of these pencil lines. color your leaves and your mushrooms however you want. I did not have a plan for what I was going to do for each mushroom or each leaf. I just kind of randomly chose colors out of the palette. Page, I chose the quote, Autumn, the year's last loveliest smile. This quote is by William Cullen Bryant. I saw it on Pinterest the other day and thought it would be perfect for my November spread. I'm just adding some mushrooms to the bottom of this quote page and using my calligraphy pen for the word loveliest, making the whole thing all pretty. You guys know how it goes. And then now I am just coloring it in. Again, 
you guys can choose whatever colors you guys want for the mushrooms or the leaves and all of the words. You guys don't have to follow me exactly if you are following along. You have complete creative freedom to do whatever you so choose. I ended up filling in the word autumn because I didn't like the way it looked and I think it looks so much better and then going over the word loveliest with the red. For the next page, it is the calendar, and I went to my grid spacing cheat sheet, and also I referred back to my October spread to see what I did for the calendar for that because I kind of forgot. But what it ended up being was each box on the calendar was seven dots wide and seven dots tall. So it was perfect squares across the board, which is really nice. So I got that all sketched out real quick and then I just went straight ahead and started inking it. My head is popping in on some of the shots in this spread because I did have to get up close and personal just to make sure I didn't mess up any details or any of the lines. And now I'm just going to write November 2020 on the side of the page, making sure the spacing's correct and it's nice and even on the page. And then I'm just sketching in some leaves just to keep the theme going throughout this spread. Now I'm sketching some mushrooms on the other page. time for inking and coloring. I'm just numbering the days now and you'll see me take Kind of a long pause because I didn't know if I messed up the days or not, but it turned out I did it completely right. So I was super proud of myself because it is really easy to mess that up. All right, so I just went back to my cover page and added some white details because I realized I forgot to do that. So I grabbed my white gel pen and I started adding some white details to the page. So dots on the mushrooms, some lines on the leaves, and doing a midline on the word autumn on my quote page. Now I'm erasing all the sketch lines and I am starting to color in my calendar page. Adding some white details to these mushrooms and adding some grass to really pull the whole thing together. My camera did cut out but I did add a drop shadow to the calendar and that finishes off the page so on to the next one. For the next page I had everything sketched out already. It is going to be my habit tracker. My habit tracker is going to be literally the same thing as my last two spreads. I'm going to be tracking flossing, working out, laundry, cleaning, posting on Instagram, and posting on YouTube. So I am just going to ink the calendars. I have them already sketched out and then I will erase the sketch marks and color it all in. At the bottom of my habit tracker, I put a gratitude log because November is the season of 
thanks and thanksgiving. And I just wanted to make sure that I am writing down all the stuff that I am grateful for and thankful for and all the stuff that I am truly blessed to have in my life. I wanted to keep track of this stuff so I am keeping myself nice and humble and not taking anything for granted. habit with my white gel pen over this mushroom and then I did a drop shadow and a little dot next to each of the calendars to signify what color each calendar is so when I am filling it in I stay consistent with the color that I designated for it and that finishes off my habit tracker page so moving on to the next page, it is the last page before my weekly spreads and it is my Instagram and YouTube growth trackers. I have it already sketched out as well and I am just inking that right now. If I could change this page at all, it would be to not do the growth tracker label on the side. I thought I could switch it up from what I usually do and I just don't really like the way that it looks and it looks like one word. So I'm probably going to go back to either what I did in my last two spreads or try something else. But that is that all done. So moving on to the next page. It is my weekly spread. I have it all sketched out. I'm doing a Dutch door setup again, and I am going to skip over the inking, but I am now just coloring it in. Here is the big events section being colored in. I really think this weekly spread is going to turn out looking really nice. And I'm super excited to see it with all the colors in. Just coloring in the leaves, coloring in the mushrooms, adding some grass, adding some white details, and all of that. I'm really happy with the way that this spread is looking. I am now just putting in the days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then the notes section. And then I am adding the number for each day. So this month is perfect. It starts on the first on a Sunday and then it just goes in order from there, which is really, really nice. So it's kind of hard to mess this up, but yeah, this month is really satisfying how it starts on a Sunday on the first. On the side, I put the quote, let yourself grow. I don't know who, if that's by anyone, I just thought of it and added it to the side of this weekly spread. And I'm just coloring it in, adding some mushrooms and some grass. That is this weekly and monthly spread all done. I think it's time for a flip through, if I do say so myself. that is this November bullet journal spread all complete. I am actually really happy with the way that it all panned out and the way that it looks. 
I kind of thought of the whole leaves and mushrooms theme kind of late in the game as in literally yesterday so I am really surprised with the way that it turned out. If you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up click that red subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. That is all I got for you guys today. I had so much fun filming this for you, and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye.